Hi guys, welcome to Freebirds Q and welcome to React plus LLM UCC in Finance Domain Part 9. So let's get started. If you don't yet watch my 75 hard JNA challenge playlist, please watch and learn JNA for free. I will put the link in the description. So here, here are the mutual funds that are the best for long term and short term investments and they contain multiple stocks and funds according to the risk and sector wise that will help you to build your wealth for the future. Also. We need to optimize mutual funds or stocks to maximize the profits and decrease the risk as much as possible that can only be done by diversification, sector-wise allocation in different sectors and moving funds at the right time as per the market shift. Okay, and there is a tool that is called Ops GPT. It, that is a great tool that can help in analyze the capital markets and give you insights as per your portfolio as well. You can also try to use this tool for your own uh, portfolio optimization and analysis as well. And here, here with the help of generative AI and large language models or LLM agents that can be used to analyze the vast amount of data that helps in generating investment strategies, recommendation for portfolio allocation and diversification as well. As I promised, this is the second last project from this series and that use the open source large language model that is Mistral 7B fine-tuned Zypher 7B LLM and let's build our project on portfolio optimization using Python, Langchain and Zypher 7B LLM. So let's get started. Here is the project guys that mutual fund portfolio optimization. So we have a problem statement here that we have to use the large language models or RAG or VectorDB to optimize the mutual fund portfolios by analyzing the extensive financial data, our portfolio data as well, and identifying the underperforming assets and recommend the strategic adjustment or allocation or diversification recommendations so that we can reduce the risk and maximize our return based on our portfolio. Okay, so this project can be done in that way. We have a project methodology here that we have to first gather the mutual fund historical data and we need to clean it, optimize it and prepare it for our data analysis as well. And then we use the large language model to analyze the textual data and use the RAG to retrieve the data from the vector DB where we store our all the data in the structured or the unstructured form and analyze it. And we apply our optimization algorithm from the large language model that can assess and adjust the portfolio based on the performance matrices like Sharpie ratio or risk assessments as well. Okay. And then we build a user friendly dashboard from that end of uh, uh, analysis as well. Okay. So let me just show you how we can do the asset allocation. So as you know, we can allocate our funds into equity or debts as well. For that, we can choose the large cap funds, mid cap funds, small cap funds or flexi cap funds and anything like that. But for that, we need to choose and allocate funds a very in a systematic way that can also decrease our risk and increase our maximum returns as well. Okay, so for that, I use this kind of uh, uh, mutual fund data that has these kind of columns, mutual fund ID net asset value, return, risk level, sector exposure and along with the economic in indicators. Okay, we have this kind of data. I just generated this kind of a raw dummy data here and this is how that data will look like. We have a data of maximum to maximum 10 funds. Okay, these 10 funds have all of this kind of information here. Okay, now, now the first step is to uh, load that data into the vector db if that data is already in the cleaned form we don't need to uh, clean it or do uh, or preset it because this data is already cleaned in a preprocessed form okay so i first use the document uh, here to just read all the rows from my uh, data frame and then load it into the document format because vector db only accepts the document format here and then I use the uh, hugging face embeddings to embed all these kind of documents and store it into the chroma db here. Then I load the hugging face embeddings here and with the help of hug hugging face embeddings, I load all of my these documents into the vector db. It is loaded successfully. And then, then I load my large language model that is Zypher 7b. 
and with the help of uh, hugging face library i load it in a very good way and in a very optimized form by you using the quantization here for the quantization i use this 4 bit quantization here that will load my data into the quantized form that will load my large language model into the quantized form and then i also load its tokenizer as well then i pass this model and this tokenizer in the quantized form into my pipeline so that i can call both the tokenizer and the large language model with just a single function that is called hugging face pipeline okay so whenever i just pass any kind of prompt into this llm then it can also use the tokenizer to tokenize the text and use the model to generate the output as well okay then i build a retrieval qa chain because now we have our data into the vector db we have our large language model so we just need to fetch the data from the vector db as a context for our query and generate the output here so for that i just build this kind of a template here that based on the following mutual fund data analyze and provide optimization recommendation in sector wise percentages so that it can give give you in which sector you have to uh, allocate how much amount of your funds okay so for that i just build this kind of a small function here as well because i see that whenever we are like uh, fetching a context from the vector db sometimes those contexts are duplicates as well so i just need to remove those duplicates values here and then i build a retrieval qa chain and that chain will fetch that data from my a uh, chroma db as a retriever function here that it will fetch the top 5 uh, similar context and then it will uh, generate the response as well then i just get the response and here you can see it how it shows me like that i just send it to you can analyze and provide the recommendation so it give me the recommendation for all these funds that how i can uh make my sector wise exposures as well then i try to evaluate it by uh measuring it with the original uh, sector wise allocation as well as you know my original sector wise all allocation looks like this but my optimized allocation look like that so i just try to uh, make it into a visualized form so i just uh visualize it in that format for all these five funds that you see that how it originally optimized and how it reduce and increase the allocation of funds based on the analysis that it has done okay guys so that's how you can build your own portfolio or like stock uh, uh, portfolio management uh, or optimization system that can help you to reduce your risk and increase your profits as well you can also experiment with like multiple kind of prompts here or multiple kind of large language models to get your desired output here okay guys so i hope you completely understand this complete project and in our uh, next video i will tell you how you can like uh, build a income tax optimization system that will help you to optimize your income tax based on the indian income tax system okay guys so we'll meet in our next video uh, if you want to know more about prompt engineering generative ai large language models or data science or machine learning you can watch my videos on youtube and also read my blogs on medium as well we'll meet in our next video thank you guys thank you so much